looking at that. Well, not not size, but it just Red Dead. Mm. Red Dead, Red Dead. You know what I'm saying? Why did you? What was the? <laughs> what was the dramatic pause for? Red Dead. You know, Red, Red, Red Dead like, Redemption. No, fine, Red when Dead. does that come out? 2010. What well, the original 2004? Are you okay? No, I mean, when does the new I'm one? It's like mm. October 26th or something like that. No? I haven't pre-ordered it. I'm not too fast. I think it's going to be overhyped. You think? Hello. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too bothered. I actually hate you. And you've recorded it. Yeah. Oh, you bastard. Hello, viewers. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. It's. It's that time of the week again where this episode's probably five days late. <laughs> it's five probably weeks. 2019. Five yeah, it weeks. probably is. <laughs> We're probably all dead by now. 2020. Um, yeah. Another Bible podcast, episode 15. Wow. Three months. What the hell week. have we been doing? <laughs> four, no, four months. Shit, I got that wrong. It's four months. Four months next week. No, it's well, all right. It's three months still. It's all right. You didn't... It's, it's, fine, it's fine. I had a brain fart. Um... If you're listening to this, thank then you. Then it's out. So yeah. Matt, thanks for uh, uploading it. Um, um, some stuff happened. A lot. We got some stuff. Mm-hmm. Who, who's 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 on contents? Not me. Not you. Yeah. Ruby's back. Matt's um still not here. Um. Yeah. Am I? If Matt, if you if, do oh. see Matt somewhere, can you point him in this direction? We can't yeah. give you the address, but just point him in a direction and send it that just, way. Just just pe- donate to his Patreon. Um. Oh, how's that going, by the way? <laughs> I know you've been getting <laughs> I mean, in um loads of appeals. <laughs> I hear it's going to be bigger than children in need. <laughs> I mean, at this rate, who's, who's going to know? Exactly. Okay. This week, who's reading it? I'll read it for oh, okay. Alright, so we've got, we've got a bit of Netflix Netflix news. <laughs> Netflix. Netflix news. Breaking Let's news. Right to the news. <laughs> yeah, so we've got, um, obviously, Daredevil's back today. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Uh, Iron Fist is done. Yay! I haven't seen season two. I think Honestly, Iron season two is really good. Orange is the New Black is apparently ending after season seven. Dun, dun, dun. Dun. What? I thought I would have carried on for the next 20 years. <laughs> I thought, yeah, but then I think they just want to end it while it's good, but instead of being Walking Dead and then keep like, going when it's shit. Mm, <laughs> mm. Mm. Have you been watching Walking Dead? I got up to series five and stopped. No. Not because it was bad, but... I, I drift in and out of that show so much. That mm. one on the farm just took so much energy from me. Is that mm. like season two? Mm. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, mm. yeah but that was when it was good. Season four lost the plot. But Connor, do you know what? We we saved Guardians because it's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> However, it's coming. it's coming out in like four years' time. <laughs> Yay! And we got some. And uh, apparently, Tracy Beaker's coming back as well. Yeah. I mean, that's shocking. I mean, I mean, if you if I if you hadn't written that down, I would have just said you're just a fool when you're no, lying. I did. I, it wasn't. It wasn't my. I well, know. I'm. am just saying. If you just suddenly that's, that's a Ruby note. That is. Yeah. Tracy Beaker. Um, more stuff about Avengers Four come out because it's because you know we're Marvel bum boys, aren't we? We just I mean, who, yeah, DC. We, we hate, you'll be we, soon. We hate DC. It's like it's all about Marvel. <laughs> Black Mantra doesn't even look like that in the comics. <laughs> he does. <laughs> um, obviously, another review of Doctor Who episode two. <laughs> the oh, ghost, mo- ghost monument. <laughs> I think we should call this episode "Come to Daddy." I mean, Come mommy. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, yeah. That was the, the, the line. That was the line. That out of context is, is weird. That was yep. the line. And then uh, you saw you saw a film this week. Uh, uh, I was going to say, walk, a walk in the stars. It ain't a walk in the stars. Where <laughs> a star is born. <laughs> All yeah, across star is, the land. Star is born, Lady Gaga, Bradley Cooper, yeah. Yeah. Gaga. So you're going to give your views I'll on that. that. I, I saw <laughs> First Man... Ever? No, the f- I saw the f- I saw the first man. What did he look? Was it Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> uh, or any other religions apply? <laughs> Way to save it. Um, I saw that with uh, Neil Armstrong. That was that was good. It was interesting. And Ruby, what did you see? A house of a clock in its walls. Was that good? Because I like I like how Jack Black's good. getting a bit of a resurgence. Yeah, it was good. And then you just it's... want to talk about Coraline as well, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Why okay. You so join us Why on Coraline the journey. Because like kind of sound like creepy. Vibe of, yeah. Creepy gothic um, vibe. Um, oh, gothic. Mm-hmm. Yes. So oh. insert your imaginary yeah. theme tune that's in your head here and let's get going. So the news that come out literally the day after we recorded this last week was, why are you moving away from the microphone? <laughs> 
It's good. It's breaking news. It's breaking, we're sitting too close breaking to me. Breaking news last. All right, sorry. I just want people to be able to hear you this week. Um, yeah, if you're wasting it, come on. Um, Netflix cancelled Iron Fist. Is that good or bad? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, the thing is, like, Iron Fist season one is so boring, but apparently season mm. two was really good. It ended up being a bit of a cliffhanger, though. Did it? Well, it's not going to get answered. Well, I mean, Unless they do um, Heroes for Hire. Like, scrap Luke Cage season two as well, and then put Luke Cage and Iron Fist together. Yeah. Netflix, yeah, we've got you covered, guys. Yeah. We've got you covered. Yeah. So what, what are your opinions, Connor, on the old Iron Fist story? Fist, Fist of Iron. Um, that sounds painful. It, it does a little bit. Um, painful. Sounds a bit heavy-handed. Painful. Yay. Just the story <laughs> is <laughs> just... Da, 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 da. Painful. I don't know. It was a painful experience to go through. It wasn't exactly the best time. But the ending... Sounds like you had trauma. <laughs> <laughs> was that because of how naff it was? And how it could have been more? Kind of like Doctor Who. Oh! Shots fired. Sexism. <laughs> Nothing to do with sex. You're the reason they renamed Kleenex Man Size. <laughs> no, Disgusting. Just, just, just no. I don't know. I, I can't sum up I watched Fist, episode I? one of Iron Fist and was like, no. I will come back to this one. So I went into Defenders having not only really seen season one and two of Daredevil. Ouch. But now I've watched Jessica Jones season one and two. Oh my God, I couldn't good. get into series two. Season two is good, but season one's the best. Yeah, I, yeah, season one was Deep. a masterpiece. It's all about women's stuff. Ten out of ten. Not, 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 not like that. Hashtag but. feminism for life. 2019, yeah. 18, whatever. Oh, don't get a shift on. <laughs> right, this is going to be fun. Mm. Oh, I'm tired. Let me tired. Uh, custard creams. Yeah. Bloody <laughs> custard creams. Oh, that was the weirdest but, bit. But the best Netflix Marvel show is back, though, isn't it? Oh. Yes, the it, saving grace of the MC Netflix universe. The, M- <laughs> the MN universe. The, the Marvel Netflix universe. The MTU. Universe. Yeah. No. Daredevil, Daredevil. Daredevil season three is back. The man without fear and without eyes because he's blind. Supposedly. <laughs> well, Charlie Cox isn't blind in real life. No. And he no. can and he can see. <laughs> I was blind, but now I can see. And it doesn't make sense how, but hey ho, it's comics. Mm. Yeah. Um. Probably the only solid Netflix series of Marvel is Daredevil. Pretty, pretty much. Have you seen? Punisher? Nope. Well, no, no, first episode fell asleep. Well, that was a tragic experience. <laughs> well, it was meant to be like quite dark and gritty and like, you know, you saw it now from the DC universe. Mm, but I need, I to, I need to watch Punisher. I feel yeah, like I need to get through I feel it. like the MCU Netflix shows are going the way of DC. Of, <laughs> of, of Telltale. It's like, no one watches them, so we just, you know. End them. Yeah. One by one. One by one. Prepare. Except the whole MCU is not going to go bankrupt. And that, yeah, that's the thing. I really want them to mention the TV shows and the movies. Yeah, so well, I'm, why can't I'm they? surprised they didn't like, do that in Infinity War. Exactly. Just like a flash down to street, you know, like that end credit scene where Nick Fury disappears. Yeah, like have just, them just like go past like Nelson and Murdoch or something. Yeah, just no just, that, just be like, guys, time. the TV shows they exist in this universe. We're right here. It's all good. Along. Thanks for sticking with us. Here's a little nugget. Mm. But no, no it ain't that's, that's why it ain't gonna that's why people, Marvel fans like some of them are just like uh, not really bothered about watching the TV show because you're not really gonna get any payoff, no, nope, unless not. you get get to the Defenders, mm-hmm. which in itself is a mixed bag. It's an odd bag. I think could have been more. I think you cut three episodes out of that Did show that and it's tighter. You re- mm. are you really hating on the Ghost Monument this mm. week? He's well, I didn't hate it. He's firing just... those shots. Well, yeah, I'm very loaded. I'm annoyed because I've watched 11, I want to say 11 seasons, 10 series. You've seen the future. How's the finale? (laughs) I'll get back to you in about 11 weeks' time. It's eight weeks. There's only eight episodes left. It's only 10 episodes this year. Uh, Bankrupt error. Burn with me, Martha. Error. Burn with me. Who turned out the lights? Hey, here's another yeah. life. That's um, that's Ray Purchase from hey, Toast of London. Really? Yeah, proper Dave the Pilot is Ray Sorry. Purchase from Toast of London. You punched me in no. the grip. Are you that sure? He's like, oh my god, bang. 
Really? Yeah, that's no. right. That's right. No. Bloody bird. Yeah. Well, I, when did you find that? Because oh. I was watching it. I'm I like, shook. I was watching it and I was <laughs> <laughs> shook. I was I'm like, shook. I was watching it. I was Creaky. like, I recognise that face. Yeah, and you looked it up. Did you go on Wikipedia? Go right. It's this yeah. bloke. And you yeah, could... because he's married right. to um. Right, 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 right. You're, okay, He's married to Jen from the IT crowd. <gasps> Good old Jen. <gasps> Hello, Jen. I'm actually like. You're you're like. I'm shook. Ray, I'm shook to the core. Are you writing down Ray Bloody Virgin? Ray <laughs> I was going to Google Ray. Ray Bloody Virgin. Oh, what's his name? Side of two men kissing toaster and see what the fuck it's got to do with you. Okay, cheers. Stop, thanks, Clem. Oh, I'm Matt actually. Berry. I can't believe that. Matt Berry is toaster. He's not. Oh, it's Ray Purchase, not Ray Purchase, not Toast. Matt no, Berry. if it was Matt, if Matt oh. Berry was in Doctor Who, I think <laughs> hey, I'd tell about. Hey, who turned out the lights? Bloody. <laughs> <Berry. laughs> That's the, is it actually, isn't that your first like attempt at a Matt Berry impression? Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> You've been practicing. No, you're just like no. my name's Stephen Toast. <laughs> oh, I want Matt Berry in Doctor Who so bad. That would be. Hey, he, can you, he was a doctor. Can you? Yeah, no. Can you imagine him as like someone like you know in the Nymon story? Like imagine that mm. kind of camp villain like just by Matt Berry, <laughs> just like <laughs> Doctor, you will die. <laughs> <laughs> then then talk about, hello. <laughs> Jelly baby. <laughs> mm, I'm in season 18 at the moment, so I really don't give a fuck about the stories. Get yeah, proper Dave. Yeah, proper Dave the pilot. Proper Dave. So he oh was, my god. Because remember, there was two Daves. There was the um, um, other Dave and proper Dave. Like there was that was the proper Dave because he was the pilot, so he was the first Dave. And it's like, yeah, man, Matt Berry, <sighs> not Matt Berry, no, not Matt Berry. Matt, no, Matt Berry needs to be in more things. Yeah, he needs to just. Safe, he can't just be on Absolute Radio. <laughs> At least give Absolute him a pay rise. Red, yeah. Give him capital or kiss, anything. Capital. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you imagine if he presented the Radio 1 breakfast show? <laughs> They've replaced Grimshaw with Matt Berry. Half a pound Literally. of chopping in rice, half a pound. That's how much it costs to send in your texts and calls to Absolute Radio. I mean, other radio, radio st- other radio stations are available. Um... What are we on about? <laughs> uh, Matt knows. Berry. Uh, doc- no, not Doctor we Who. We about Toast of London by accident because we were, we're talking, talking about the Doctor Who because... No, I bought You were firing Doctor shots. Who. Yeah, you yeah, were. And you, Iron Fist, then Netflix. Yeah, Iron Fist, Daredevil. Yeah, and then so you said, who, hey, who turned out the light? I love... Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> just triggered everything. My, most of, this, most of this, is, this podcast is just trying to figure out what the fuck we're trying to say. Memory loss. <laughs> <laughs> who am I? Who am I? Oh, no, no. I think alarm I'm crappy TV doctor. I'm a human, then. What? Well, yeah. it's a pipe. What? Yeah, I know. It just it was human Speaking like of pipe in Mad Max. Um, Pipeception. Are you... What are your opinions on Daredevil Season 1 and 2? Because I think Season 1 was better than Season 2. Just because... Yeah, both very strong. Yeah, just because mm. by the end of Season 2, I was kind of done with ninjas. Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Because that's the only f- problem is that the hand just become like oh. a meme. faceless army of ninjas uh, who they meme. fight constantly. I, I have a question. Yeah. Why are you going that way? It's fire. I'm just Does trying to look around. Fire's fire. Who doesn't get attracted to fire? And we kind of let it burn, 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 burn. <laughs> copy, copy, right, right, right. right, right. There we go. That fixed and it. I set fire to the I rain. set fire to Mad Max. Um, yeah, because... And also it's a problem in Defenders that... It's just the hand being Woman faceless. Defenders. No, in the defenders, when it's just faceless army ninja thing. Oh, you said problem. I just heard. I said women problem. De- I just yeah. heard. Yeah, women no, defenders. yeah, all the bloody <laughs> women. Oh yeah, the women. Defenders. All the women in the defenders, man. <laughs> Colleen, thingy. I can't remember her name. The, Luke's the girl. defenders are the MCU TV equivalent of the Avengers. Okay. So they have separate shows, and they all come together. No. Come together. You could have a female we defenders. We got together. Well, they got Jessica Colleen Jones. Jessica, Jessica Jones is the best. Well, she's already in it. Um, Luke's girl. I like when Matt Murdock just wears her scarf as his um, Daredevil mask. And just wraps her scarf around his head. Uh, yeah, because I mean that's yeah that's normal. Then he sits down. I'm mad and I'm a warrior. <laughs> oh, Daredevil man. From what, what I saw, from what I saw in Iron Fist, Iron Fist was much better in Defenders than he was in Iron Fist. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he kind of settled in. It's like the Doctor getting their role. He kind of just knew what he was doing and he I did his job. If you, if, if you viewers can't guess what Connor's desperate to talk about, well, the it's only not on my mind. It's not this shit. <laughs> that, well, no, I, I, yeah. I'm enjoying this. Speaking moment. of women in Netflix, what, what, what we got to say? Oh, Orange yeah, is the New Black is apparently ending after season seven. Yay. 
I like. I, I like. I, I like it a lot. I like Orange is the New Black. I try and get into it. I just, I got lost interest and went into yeah, other things, but I need yeah. to. Yeah, it's good. I need it's to get re- back into it's it. It's really enjoyable. It's a lot of fun. I mean, it's deep sometimes. Mm, you know? No pun intended. Yeah. I don't know what that pun is referring to, but uh, <laughs> what season is it on now? Does anyone know? I haven't watched it, so I mean, don't look at me. I'm guessing five or six. It must be six. It's if it's ending, while. if it's ending after seven, it's been a while what? since I watched it. <laughs> What season? Season two, series three. Um, no, I watched like I think I watched four. It falls out. Maybe not. <laughs> it's only season one. I thought, yeah, I thought Orange is the but he's been Orange Black New. He's been going forever. Orange is the New Black will end after um, the seventh season. Yeah, what season? Yeah, what season's out now? It must be six. It must be six. The logic would say. Yeah. Okay, well I've seen probably like four seasons. Mm. It was really good, but it was really good, really good. I can't find my way out of the sewer. Ten thousand years Kirtles. in a sodding sewer. Have you watched Curse of the Curse of the Fatal Death? Well, yeah, you told me to watch, it, didn't you? No, that's you Dimensions were... in Time. Cur- no, that's Rowan Atkinson. Yeah, I watched that. With, that's um, so good. Yeah. The woman doctor in it, and yeah, uh, that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yes, I've seen. Oh, I've seen season five then. Seen up to season what is, five. What is it on, it's on six? Yeah, season six. six. Yeah, that's a, so it sort of come out of nowhere because that's a really popular show. Netflix are just like done, and uh, then they are in like massive amounts of debt. So to Cause who? They keep, to, well, to, to what? Well, because they just spend loads of money on shows on and then keep cancelling yeah. them after like one season. Yeah, they do. Yeah, mm. that's true. like Marco Polo should have carried on. Like, why? Oh, can, like, why can, yeah, too. Why can yeah. we never have a good adaptation of Marco Polo? Like, BBC, the BBC yep. wiped the Hartnell version, and then. <laughs> Cancel. It was found, and then it was missing, then found, and... Uh. Uh, do you reckon we'll ever get to a point where all the classic stories are found? Or reconstructed? I hope so. Maybe by the time we're about 80, <laughs> then yeah. By the time I'm pissing in my pants, I can finally watch Marco Polo. By the time Doctor Who's ended, and, <laughs> you know, Jodie Whittaker's not in Doctor Who's canon, then yeah. Jodie Whittaker's... Jodie Whittaker's good. She's all right, but she isn't what the show needs at all. Mm. I'm just let down by all the hype and you know, it's accessible for new fans but to, oh, is, no, I'm is, not new it is very I'm, much the, made, I'm the opposite of definition okay, of new we've taken a Doctor Who tangent but let me just say this is very much you can tell that it's aimed at a more general audience like series 1 was with Russell like series 5 was with but Mark us Bat. but us smart asses need to be no but you need Connor like I'm not being funny like I know it's a lot different ha 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 ha, ha. yeah so you're not <laughs> funny you're being funny no I'm <laughs> I'm saying, like, I'm, <laughs> Connor, let me talk before oh. I break your legs. <laughs> I'm so scared. You know what? There you go. <laughs> go no, on. So, like, I know, I know that we need, like, you want it to feel like your show, but... It, not what? my show. <laughs> no, but I think we, what is worse for you is you've only just sort of rewatched everything and some stuff you've only just seen. Mm. So you have really bad whiplash. <laughs> because you've gone from the Moff- you've gone from the Moffat era to the Chibnall era, which I'll admit, if I'd have watched Twice Upon a Time just a before the Woman Who Fell Worth, I'd have probably snapped my own head off. It's only two episodes in. You've got to give it a chance, man. We've got to give it she episode three. She has potential. You have to admit this. She is very tenant-like in the way she's trying to be. <laughs> no, but what I will say is this week, before we get... Because we'll get into it later, but I think yeah. this week she was a <laughs> Sorry, lot... Guys. She was a lot more stable. Yeah, yeah, like definitely. She was less yes. all over the place. I just want yeah. someone other than Chibnall to write a fucking episode. Which ain't going to happen until about six or seven. Oh, I know, he's writing like six, isn't he? Oh, mm. my God. No. Eight, nine and ten, I don't think have been... They're not been confirmed TBA, yet, yeah. Have you seen that title that's apparently called Arachnids in the UK? No. Look at what? the episode titles. They've whoa, released whoa, whoa, up to whoa. like episode six. Yeah, so while you look for that... I know, what was the one I kept telling you about? It was a, a, Problems a, with the Punjab or something like the that? The Punjab one, that was yeah. it. Yeah, the good old Punjabs. <laughs> Hopefully there's an episode coming up where you guys will actually do something. <laughs> instead of just going, I missed my family too. <laughs> and they, it, Maybe she'll actually visit her family instead of just saying she misses them. What do you reckon? Like, yeah, Excellent no. idea. <laughs> why has the BBC not thought of that? And also, why it's did they just one leave episode? her at home? <laughs> because it's literally been like half an hour since she left her. But I miss my family now. Yeah, but she keeps mentioning them, so why don't she just go on? Fucking do it. <laughs> Make Yaz do something. She's got potential. Just do it. Um... The Wi-Fi's yeah. not working. R.I.P. Orange is the new black. 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 Episode. But 
The good we news, have... guys. The good, guys, the good news is mm-hmm. that Guardians of the Galaxy is coming out. Next episode, episode, what? what? Next episode is coming out. Really? Next episode is next episode. No, it, said <laughs> next, say. it says next episode, episode four. That doesn't make sense. So go on Wikipedia. Rosa. Ah, uh, from my sandwich in the. Yeah, Arachnids in the UK. Yeah, the the Suranga conundrum. conundrum, Demons of the Punjab. Why did I say it was problems with the Punjab? That sounds, <laughs> like <laughs> problems. That sounds <laughs> a lot more down to earth. And the next one's only called problems This Week on Problems with the Punjab. <laughs> Jeremy Kyle. It's, it's a podcast. <laughs> it's a podcast. Is that their That's podcast? That's what our episode should be called. Problems with the Yes, Ruby, you're hired. Always hired, anyway. Well, yeah, but like, Matt, you're never coming back. Um, but yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is coming out. Oh, not. Uh, not now. <laughs> right <laughs> now, right a second. Is there any word right on here, who's directing right it? Right here. Guardians. I feel like it's going to be Taika Waititi. Because he, he basically be, made a Guardians film. He's the saviour of the masses when it comes have to that. Have you seen that edit of um, Loki in Four Ragnarok when he goes, Your saviour is here! And it's just Taika Waititi's head. <laughs> Ghosts of the past. What am I looking for? I really want Guardians 3 now, and I want Dave Bautista to not leave. No, but that's what I mean. It was the same with WWE, and he was like, oh, I'm gone. And then he came back for about a month, and oh, I won't leave wrestling. I love wrestling. Like He's recently sort of said, oh, I love wrestling. I've always got a spot for it, and yet he'll probably come back. I think he has come back to SmackDown for one episode, and he's kind of buggered off again. So, I mean... Does it feel good for you to actually get to talk about wrestling? (laughs) Yeah, it's the one time it's relevant. But still, fuck you, Batista. (laughs) Yeah. But we like you, Dave. Is The Undertaker still a thing? (laughs) Yeah, surprisingly. Yeah. I thought he was dead. So did everyone. He's the dead man. Uh, Wasn't there more than one Undertaker? I remember something about that at primary school. Kane dressed up as Undertaker once. Oh, I don't know. Or Undertaker dressed up as Kane. There was a boy in my primary school who also called George who liked... I'm wrestling. not surprised by that. Yeah. There's three of us. Or George, George and George. Yeah, well, yeah. They all, <laughs> all had the same first name, so all the names sounded similar. It was George T, George J and George W. That's me. George W. Bush. Yep. I did not release those weapons of mass. No, wait, no, that's Clinton. <laughs> but yeah, so, come on, please tell this story. I'm intrigued. It's well, George, George and George, yeah? yeah what so, happened? Yeah, so he. I was basically going to say he had a WWE lunchbox. Wow, that is a really okay. interesting story. This is what you. Oh, WWE, no WWF, because it was F back F. then, wasn't it? Yeah, because it used to because when before, it was before du- they had to claim that it was fake. World Wrestling Federation. Fucking fun. <laughs> no, that's that's a completely different website. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was the that no, was the story. It sorry, big, guys, when wrestling was it great, wasn't a big analogy. <laughs> When wrestling was great, when it was the F, it was, when it was... It was great, fun. you know, and I did the wrestle, I did the thingy, I threw him on the ground. Why did you have that It's, it's, it's not what it sounds like. Cheeky gorus. <laughs> Cheeky... Um, I yeah. sit on the toilet. Yeah, so 2022 release date for Guardians of the Galaxy. Start filming it next... Uh, not next year, in, the year before, in uh, February 2021. 2021. So I'll be... Dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be dead. 22... Yeah, 22. You'll be, what, you'll be 22 in three years? 2021. Yeah, well, fucking 19. How old are you now? 19. Oh. Hello, guys, I'm 19. So you'll be 25. I'll be 25. 25. I'll be oh, you old sod. I'd well, be... I'll be... That's, that's middle age. You old sod. I'll be 18. You'll not understand oh, the implications. Your life just started. <laughs> I, walk, I walk an eternity. <laughs> I've lived for something like 750 years. What, say so you're middle age? Yes. <laughs> I want to just be Tom Baker in season 18. That's how I'm going to act. Even though that was Pyramids mm. of Mars and that wasn't season 18. But then, mm, no. No. But, no. no. You've got me during season 18, so I, I really don't care. Hello. <laughs> Reach the back of the vehicle. Freak robot. Okay, well, I'm going to get back in the car for that one. I really hope they use James Gunn's script for Guardians Trey. They kind of they kind of have to at this point. Will it be set years in the future? Will Gamora still be alive? Will it be a prequel? Who's Gamora? Why, Why is who? Gamora? Uh. Why is Gamora? I'll Will tell it... you want better? Why is Gamora? Uh, Why um? Why am Groot? What if it's a prequel? For whatever bizarre reason. I don't know. 
They, they could do anything, but I just hope oh. they use his story and finish off because he very much had a plan for a trilogy. And Adam Jump. Warlock becomes a thing. Well, Warlock wasn't he teased at the end of Guardians Two? two? I should have called him. He was part of the Gold People. Adam. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that was, but, is that before David Hasselhoff sung um, Guardians Inferno? Yay! A yes. Baby into battle. Yes. I want David Hasselhoff in more things. He should become the next Star Lord. Oh he should have been Star Lord's dad. <laughs> yeah. I choose the form that best suited you. Why don't you have wrapped it? There's like a little gap there. There's not a little gap. No. No. No way. It's couple of days. We've got work to do. Dude. Standard universe has been fired. Um, <laughs> it has been fired. I just. I've Especially got, I've got a feeling that Guardians Three won't be the same, and we'll all sort of be like. Uh, uh. Suicide Squad. It'll be shit. Yeah, Suicide Squad would be amazing, wouldn't it? It'll be like, yeah, see. Yeah, Suicide Squad Which... two would be amazing, and then yeah, it would be Edge. reverse. They would be with a reverse polarity. Mm. Reverse polarity, neutron flare. That ends the real John Pertwee. <laughs> I rewatched like all of the uh, Five Who fans. Um, it's never Omega. Fuck, that's so good. <laughs> so good. Um, I, don't, I just got cr- tr- uh, cringed at Five Who fans. I just didn't. Oh man, they're so good. <laughs> when I heard the Renegade Master, I just thought no. If you see, they did. Um, I'll become a renegade Fe- after watching that video. Phoenix did a video about appreciating the um, the TV movie master and basically dressed up as Eric Roberts. And it was like it's a song. I don't remember the lyrics, but my god, it's so funny. <laughs> he literally like has the. They literally have a line in it about the Asian child, and I was just yes, <laughs> yes, 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 Queen. Shout out to Five Who fans. And shout out to the, It's ending this year. Oh, I feel so sad. Because, like, this version of the era is ending. <laughs> it's only got a couple months left of of those funny bastards. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, I didn't even like that one. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Speaking, Wait, speaking of people go returning. Oh. Return of the Mac. Come oh. right. Ruby, what is returning to the BBC? Tracy Beaker. Oh, tell us about wow. your run. Go on, you Tracy Beaker run. Yes. Okay. It's, it. hey, have the spotlight. Go. Read from the book of Jeebus. I'm reading from I still can't go over but what a fucking random surprise. Like, I know. Well, well it was evolved. released seven months ago, but it's only just started been talking about again. Okay. Hashtag delay. So tell, yeah. us, Rube, tell us about it. So, after 27 years. Wait, what? Uh, I mean, 20... Jackie, <laughs> <laughs> Jackie oh. Wilson shot to fame for 27 years. So, you, Jackie only... Wilson's been going for 27 years. I mean, she's older than that, obviously, but you know what I mean. Yeah, she's not. I, I don't. So, she looks like a raisin. A right. <laughs> <laughs> raisin? Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, raisin face. <laughs> you got so Prune face from we've um, had the Star Wars Robot Chicken. <laughs> Who's put like Prune face. Sorry, Ruby. Carry on. So, we've had oh. Trace Vico... Then Tracy Beaker returns, then the dumping ground, and now we're back to Tracy Beaker. Don't know what it's going to be called, but Tracy Beaker. she's Here apparently a single mum fighting to make ends meet. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh. So she's Tracy Beaker. <laughs> Basically. And she's supposed to be living Tracy Beaker Jr. on a rough housing estate in modern day London. Oh. Oh. So it's EastEnders, but Tracy kids. Beaker Benefits. is a mother with a challenging nine year old daughter of her own. Oh. Tracy Beaker Jr. Um, That's a daughter trait. Justine. Oh, just yeah. Justine Littlewood. The book, the book that will be coming out to, like to do with it is my mum, Tracy Beaker. So she's what writing a new book, and then they're going to make a series out of it. Yeah. Because, yeah. What, what, what? because the BBC and have no ideas. Let or see. I'm guessing. BBC, I'm guessing yeah. Danny Harmer will be in it. Because but, but what's the name of the daughter? Is it Tracy Beaker Junior? Well, no. <laughs> Connor's asking the real question. Tracy Beaker Junior. Tracy. And TBJ. Tracy. <laughs> No, they can't really use that in TV speaker, though. Jess. No. Jess. J- Jess Beaker. Of Jess Beaker. The book is narrated from Jess the perspective Beaker. of Tracy's daughter, Jess. That sounds like a wet fart in a bin bag. Mm-hmm. Jess Beaker. Yeah. Jess Beaker. Jessie Beaker. The Beaker. Do, 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 do. The Speaker. But are they going to ruin, like, characters' back? Like well, Justine probably because they did, didn't. They bring back Justine and Jackie. in return. Yeah, Je- they brought back. Hello, Jackie. You look nice. They brought back. Justin Littlewood and um, Tracy Beaker returned. I don't know what, and she's still the bitch. Is she? Yeah, and oh, she got married. Brilliant. Fuck Tracy oh, Beaker. Brilliant. Yeah. There's nothing new there. I don't get it. 
Don't I'm excited, don't but know I don't know how it's going to be, to be honest. I mean, if it's the same, then... It will still be good. I still love the book set. The thing is, Trace Big Returns was okay. I don't think that was better. I know she wasn't no, in it. No, OG Tracy Beaker was the best. Yeah, no, but like, Dumbledore was quite good. I don't even know what one I watched. You only watched one? Well, I, don't, well, I saw different bits of different... Because I remember when she arrived at the orphanage. Orphanage? Care, <laughs> care home. <laughs> Sorry, same thing, different words. Wait, which one? Was that Tracy Beaker Returns or the original? Oh, I have no clue. The original, you <laughs> might say. <laughs> it was different episodes of different series. Tracy I don't know. Beaker, it's but the I didn't know she, I didn't know she got old and had a kid. That's not the Tracy well, Beaker. No, nobody knew. Apparently that's happening now. Yeah. Now. We never knew about that. That's kid. just happened. Well, isn't it because she's had a kid in real life? Yeah, she has. It's called... Um, Jess. Avia <laughs> Bell. Avia Bell. Avia Bell. Avia Bell. Avia No way, Sean. My... <laughs> Look at that stun jump. That was that was brilliant. That Missed was cool. Danny J. Hall. Ah, Tracy Bloody. Be- I never thought I'd enter like search it, but Tracy Bloody Beaker. Tracy Bloody Ray Bloody Beaker. <laughs> she... Tracy Bloody Beaker. Oh, if it isn't my old friend Ray. <laughs> is she married? I'm guessing she is. She must be married. She married. It's impossible. The character. Have, it's impossible to have children out of wedlock these days. Said no one ever. With Which is why Matt's Simon not, that's why Matt's not here, he's looking oh. after his kids. Some guy could Sorry, you come out of the bed now. Why are you hiding his kids under the bed? <laughs> You've kidnapped that. his children, you bastard. Okay, well while Ruby looks for that, should we talk about Avengers? Yes please, I'll take a no. Beaker goodbye. Okay. So last week we forgot to talk about this. <clears throat> the old um Yeah, a, a, oh Avery a- Bell. It's ba- Avery Bell. Bell. Okay, yeah. so her, her baby, baby, Bell. baby Bell. Um, <laughs> baby Bell, she's. Ba, 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 exactly, her baby, baby Bell. Bell, yeah. This car's gonna fucking blow up. You're a bastard. No. <laughs> Drive off road, they'll never get. Ki- Avengers. They'll never suspect me. Oh, it's all, f- it's all kind of getting its own solo oh, movie yet. Yeah. For fuck's sake. Um, it's Black Widow getting her own movie. No, yet. so they've got all their things. Mm. What do, you, what do you mean by their things? Like they've got okay, so um, you make no sense. Okay, last no, week <laughs> there was release of it was really? merchandise in which oh yeah 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 they showed the Avengers all having quantum realm suits because you know <laughs> quantum realm's gonna have a big fuck off no. gonna have a big part of Avengers four uh huh so hang on I need to fucking kill this guy I'm almost getting run over. Oh. <laughs> there we go. That was odd. Okay, so now. Can you just. Can... Yeah, so they've got all good quantum suits. Wait, quantum suits, Morty. They're all just sort of. Cool. They're really cool. Really cool, okay. Morty. Drive to the. I always said drive to the tomb of the raider. Of the rider. Drive to the. Oh, I've read that as Raider, time to the Tomb of the Raider. <laughs> it was not Indiana Jones. Raiders of the Lost Lara. Tomb. Oh, I can't get Lara in Jones, it. Indiana Croft. Well, this is good. I know, it's a, it's a burning car. Yeah. Punching an angular selfie no. point. I need some water. But yes, Avengers merchandise, suits, quantum shit. Yeah, because Quantum Realm has travel back in time, spacey wacy, and all sort of like that. Is um, a big part of Avengers Fallen. Spoiler title that they haven't revealed yet because Spo- of all well, the apparently Annihilation. But... No, no, how is that a spoiler though? Because the title is meant to be a spoiler. No, yeah, I reckon it's going to be, you know, like how Age of Ultron just was like, you know, Ultron's going to be in it. But now it's like. Thanos is dead. Yeah, <laughs> Avengers <laughs> Thanos is dead. <laughs> He just magically dead. Um, magically dead. No. Magic- no, I still think it's gonna be something like death of Captain Thingy or like death. Death, death of, of Captain, Captain Thingy. Thingy. Death of the Avengers or like Avengers death of the all. Avengers dissolved. <gasps> they all fall down. Avengers dis- disassemble. <laughs> a tissue. The Avengers a tissue. tissue. They, they all fall, fall down. down. Dead. To December. December. Dead. No, I, I'm, I'm not going to so, stop guessing the title. Yeah, so... Mm. My, my, apparently Michael Douglas. You know, yeah. Scott. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, Scott. you got to steal the suit, Scott. I can't... Yes, yeah, suit up. Did you see I'm Behind the Candelabra? 
where he played Liberace, Michael Douglas. No. Because he's like, well, he's like gay boyfriend that's Matt Damon in that film. Like he's called Scott. So like in Ant Man, okay. when he, when Michael Douglas goes Scott, Scott, <laughs> it's like oh no, wrong movie. <laughs> Yeah, because apparently he said that the Quantum Realm is a key component of Avengers key. Avengers 4. It's basically going to be 80% of the plot. Well, yeah, because we know that Ant-Man's got to get out of there because there's rumours that he travels forward in time. And space. Ends up ends up five years in the future. How did he get there? You can get a lift from the doctor. No, because apparently there's time vortexes in the Quantum Realm, which they sort of just do a sla- throwaway line at the end of Ant-Man and the Wasp, just like, watch out for the time vortexes, otherwise we'll lose you forever. And then you lose it forever. Yeah, so... No, because they disintegrate mm. with the uh, Thanos snap. <sighs> hey, you haven't seen the Thanos it, app. <laughs> the app. Yeah, the app. <laughs> Thanos app. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. <laughs> and so yeah, you're probably going. I'm guessing going a time vortex and, and end future. up in the future, yeah. and then. Yeah, then... I thought Captain Marvel was the key. She was going to be the one that does. Oh, I'm she... a woman. I solve it. Yeah, she's going. She's going to. It's all about women from space saving the universe, isn't it? <laughs> And little midgets in ant suits. They're going to be the two key... Bradley Walsh. <laughs> what, as Ant-Man? That'd be cool. Oh, yeah, that <laughs> Yeah, um, and then travel back in time to whatever. Are they going to travel through the quantum realm? Are they going to fight in the quantum realm? Maybe they fight Thanos. Really tiny? Yeah, well, That'd yeah. be cool. It'd be funny. Yes. That'd be really fun. It'd be fun if they grew like Iron Ant-Man Man. Ant-Man grew into giant, giant and Man. squished him. He literally did a... Well, he could technically Savage. kill Thanos because he could shrink down and give him an aneurysm or something. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. know, we, we, we were guessing the plot before it even happens. Yeah. I mean, we might as well have written the movie for Batman's going to show... Oh, wait, wrong one. Uh, oh, do you know what I've seen today? Um, no, the D, The DC DVDs, like um, Justice League and that, they... Ha- you know the slipcases for the Marvel ones now are like grey, yeah. picture of the main character, and then like the colour... Band around the title, DC are doing that as well. Coffee cats. They've literally got, but instead of it having looking like a brush, it's like straight. <laughs> it was literally a straight purple one. We said DC Suicide Squad, and then in the grey, the rest of it was grey with the Suicide Squad characters in it. Oh right. Okay. It's like we have no original ideas. Oh dear. Because we are. We lazy, are DC. Lazy bastards. Lazy bastards. Lazy, lazy. Speaking of lazy, I couldn't be bothered to think of a segue. So, Connor. Lazy. Uh-huh. Would you like to tell us about a star is born? Born? Born. Go. It wasn't lazy. Better no. than Great Showman. Um, <laughs> That's going to be pretty hard to talk. No, I mean, it wasn't no. cheesy song all throughout the trailer. I My mum dragged me along. It wasn't my idea to see it. But um, it's resurged Lady Gaga's career, that's for sure. It made me think, oh, she yeah, I remember did. her. <laughs> she did. <laughs> She's not, not, not done anything. But we're not for ages. I can't remember her last hit. That's how ages ago she was. Wasn't she was so 2012, 2013. Was she an American Horror Story? Was she? I don't know. I think so. I don't what know. earth did you read that? Uh, no, I saw it. Like, it was ages ago. Okay, we're Googling that. Yeah, please do. I don't think I've ever found another Meep, meep. Lady Gaga. What is the plot? Because I know it's a remake mm-hmm. of the old, um, the old I, film. Yeah, it's boy meets it. girl. Boy can sing. Boy is so cool and he can sing. And his name's Bradley Cooper. Is that his name? Or does he just play <laughs> Bradley, Bradley, Bradley Cooper? Cooper? Is it Bradley Cooper as himself? <laughs> you might as well be, because I'm... Oh my God, are you actually right? See, I'm so American clever. Oh, wow. Jesus. See? Don't look no different. You doubt my powers, but I've proven it time and again. Oh, anyway, Bradley Cooper can sing. Shows <laughs> the girl everything she needs to see. And then... So, then sing the whole go. plot to me. Go on, Connor. <laughs> she played someone called Elizabeth. Yeah, see, I knew and she was in it. Elizabeth, well, not in, I say, not in my film. And then, <laughs> yeah, in your film, <laughs> in, in your in your film that you made with Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper, what happened? Um, yeah, Lady boy meets girl. girl. He's like, hey, girl, you can sing. I like your voice. She's like, no, I'm not special. I'm so, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nothing. I'm and so then so he's eh. just like, hey, girl, come with me on stage. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> come with me on stage now. Like you know, we'll sing a good song together. Then. Uh, and then she comes in halfway through, 
And the next thing you know, she becomes more successful. <laughs> he becomes. She just goes. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> she fights, she, she becomes the next queen. Becomes like the next pop she sensation. Becomes the queen. <laughs> she becomes the knight of the realm. <laughs> she becomes the next sensation. He becomes. I don't know. Nobody. I can't think of who's a one-hit wonder. He becomes like Rizzle Kicks. You know, good. <laughs> he becomes <laughs> like Rizzle Kicks. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit harsh for Rizzle Kicks. Man. <laughs> I mean, what have they done since Down with the Trumpet? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> let's get down with it, down with it. Yeah. Guys, what have you done since then? Well, get down. What else did they do? That's about ten. Didn't down. they do Mama Do the Hum? Yeah. Mama Do the Hum. Oh, like that one, I mean. Yeah, what have they yeah. done since then? Oh, would you please, Mama Do the Hum. Let's see you can research that. <laughs> yeah. I know that one of them was on. I'm sorry, but I bring up a good, valid fucking points. Okay, so he becomes Rizzle Kicks, and then it happens. How does it end? Well, lovers part, but oh. not in the most. Well, <laughs> lovers part. <laughs> Why are you being so like <laughs> poetic? What? Lovers what part. It? Well, I, I can adorned right. by such awards of gratitude and. Never <laughs> released music. Like well, you. lovers part, but in a really emotional and kind of deep and tragic way that mm. I didn't see coming. Oh, and did they kill was... each other? Is it a suicide? No, thing? they're not. No, um, it's not fucked up, George. They're, oh. they're like Corona and album. It was released on the 31st of October 2011. Wow. That's sad. Cool, that's, Riz that's Rizzle Kicks. I told you, dead. Who? <laughs> they're literally Ooh. just dead. Well, yeah, um, down with the trumpet. Did you cry? Skip to the good bit. Did I cry? Yeah. Inside. Oh. Did your mum cry? Yes. Oh. <laughs> good yes. Inside. Bloody, bloody <laughs> women crying <laughs> at films. <laughs> How, how very dare you? <laughs> how dare you? You cry at movies <laughs> for that you will be exterminated. Oh you propose God. an alliance. <laughs> now that, that is correct. <laughs> there is one thing you are better at, you and know. that is <laughs> pest control. control. Dalek, they. Um. What would you give the film out of ten? Out of Bradley Cooper's, I'd give. Or would it... you do? Yeah, well, ten is our rating system for now. We haven't we mm -hmm. haven't got enough money for stars yet. I'd give it nine Lady Cargars. And Lady Cargars. <laughs> nine Lady Cargars out of four Bradley Coopers. I don't know what the conversion rate is. So I would assume that's good. Um, no, it was good. I'll say like what a good eight. It eight solid, and then it got good towards the end. It was a solid eight, bruv. Solid eight. Nice one, brother. B plus, B plus, B plus. Stop giving this so many scales. B plus, Stars, B minus. Numbers, <laughs> grades, algorithms. <laughs> Tardis. Um, no. Quantum realms. Quantum realm. Yes. Um, no, I'd give it like a good nine. It, it got. You just went <laughs> eight, nine, ten, <laughs> six. Eleven. Lady Gargoyles out of Bradley Cooper. <laughs> Quantums. Physics! <laughs> Minerals. Um, okay, that's good. Is there any more ratings you want to give the film? No, that's, all, that's it. It's done now. Okay, Ruby, sit forward. Yeah. Okay, so. Next! Look, you're so quiet. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah. speak up. Hello. That's quite well, quiet. I mean, um, so, yeah, it's, you, you saw remember, a house with a clock in its walls. Yes, yes, I did. Discuss. Do. It was okay. It was like scary enough what it would be. It's like not like really scary, but it was just a bit weird. Which was the plot of It Pulls. There you go. Okay, we're back. Okay, never mind. Okay, well Matt cut that. <laughs> <laughs> I literally went to click on the computer to like stop it from turning off. And then I paused the whole thing. The the line carries on, so I think we're alright. Okay. So I'll test that later. It was like about this guy. And his parents die, which is sad, Yay! <laughs> and then he has, parents. <laughs> he has to go and live with his uncle, and then he finds out his uncle is a warlock. Oh. oh. And then I'm an Aries. <laughs> so, I'm an Aries. Um, and then <laughs> he learns like all Let's of see. the stuff from it. Aries. And then there's this book that gets people, brings people back. I'm from the dead. To, I'm trying not to turn it off this time. And then uh, the little child uses it and brings back this great inventor that died and he's really, really creepy. Thomas Edison. Jefferson. What was his name? I don't know. But that's a good story. I mean, Jeff. Yeah. If it's like, it brought back Jeff. It was like two weeks ago. Give me a break. Give me a break. I'm sorry. 
Isaac, Isaac is odd. Oh, Isaac is odd. He's odd, is he? He's odd. Is, is he He's well odd. Is he a mix between Isaac Newton and Eddie Izzard? <laughs> see, that's a film I would see. Yeah, it was like that, really creepy. And the main people are Jack Black, Kate Blunt, Chit, and Sonny... Shit. Yeah, that, however you say that. Sonny Sujika. He's from, um, what's it, Daddy's Home, the little kid. In Daddy's home. Oh, no um, idea. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. That. Oh, no, I don't. Mel Gibson. <laughs> He's from Mel Gibson. Is he Will Ferrell? Is it Mark Wahlberg? What? No. I'm an inventor. We found the Transformer. Yes, it was very good. Um, how's Jack Black? Because he's had a bit of a resurgence. Because Halloween... Go- no, Halloween. Goosebumps 2 comes out. Out of nowhere, yeah. So, yeah. I like Jack Black. I don't like Goosebumps. Like Where's Jack my frickin' phone? I've not seen Goosebumps. I've got a game of that Goosebumps on my Xbox, good. but I've not. He's good in Jumanji. He's, yeah, he is. He's having a bit of a resurgence in the old Jack Black career. Yeah, he's good. Blackie Jack. Blackie Jack. He plays a dark character than he would usually do, but he still has a fun side. Well, because he's the good guy. He's pretty weird. So he's Sylvester McCoy, pretty much. He's yeah. the doctor. He's like, <laughs> he is. he's, like, dark, but he saves everyone. He's, like, funny. Does he manipulate time. people? Like, Does he create ripples in a lake with a boulder? <laughs> Every great decision we create, like a boulder dropping in a lake. Oh! I really want to listen to Big Finish. Please do. The guy's uh, called Lewis. Lewis. Oh, Lewis. who's Tarby? Oh, that's the that's friend. Tarby. Oh, who's friend. Tarby? So, yeah. Tarby. Tarby. Tar- Tarby's his, Lewis's friend. Lewis has a friend. So Lewis is the little boy. Does he become a warlock? Yeah, yeah. Is there room for a sequel? Or does he not? I don't know. Away? How does it end? They save. They kill. Save Martha. So they kill Isaac Izzard and his wife again. And wait, what did they kill his wife for? Because you die too. His wife killed the next son Abel and then like turned into Jesus. Her and then tried to like trick Lewis into killing his neighbours. Oh my god! Kill your neighbours, boy. I'm a girl. Who even plays? Silence, girl. It's for the greater good. <laughs> the greater good. <laughs> so mean. Yeah, so, um, so what yeah. would you give it? Mm. Selena. Three Izzard. Jack Blacks out of. Yeah, Selena. Three Izzard. wooden Jack Blacks out of four <laughs> clocks. <laughs> <laughs> four clocks in six walls. Um, what are you thinking? I don't know. I'll give it eight Jack Blacks out of ten. Okay. Okay. Would you, would you see it again? Yeah, I would. Do you think it's sequel material? Do you think that's just flat out done? Mm, done with that? I rubbish? think there like could be someone that may like might come back. Kill someone else's neighbours. Yeah. <laughs> All the neighbours die, and then it goes into the TV Maybe show. Maybe another clock because the clock in its walls he like buried in the like Isaac is all buried in the walls before he died. So Jack like, has to find it. So maybe oh, there's another one. That starts, so maybe like, there's ticking. more because obviously there's a world of warlocks. So maybe there's, there's another warlock clocks in, in many walls. Yeah, maybe. Mm-hmm. The walls of space and time will be the next one. Come along, Ace. We've got work to do. <laughs> um, <laughs> Doctor Who and Goosebumps. Great. Well, unexpected Doctor, crossover. Doctor Bumps. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Bumps. That sounds like a Mr. Bump. Men book. Um, Mr. Bump. Um, I saw a film this week. First man. I saw a fir- I saw one small step for man. One, one giant leap for mankind. I saw First Man with Ryan Gosling and Claire Foy. <laughs> Foy. 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 <laughs> I want much. Foy, Foy. Okay. Yeah, um, about the um the story of it was based on the book Neil Armstrong First Man or something like that or oh, Life of Neil Armstrong. Do I don't um, remember. Um, I remember watching the film and then there was the moon. <laughs> I mean, now I thought it's it was no, the sun. It's, it would be silly. It's Neil Armstrong's foot. The Doctor wasn't in it. No, the Doctor wasn't in the Neil Armstrong. Gutted. And this is meant to be a true story, yeah, right? So, yeah, it is. Um, yeah. So Ryan Gosling plays. Neil Armstrong, Claire Foy plays his wife, Janet, I think. Janet. Then there's obviously Janet. appearances from um, Corey Stoll, who um, played Yellow Jacket in Ant Man, is Buzz Aldrin. Oh, right. Buzz the bald, Aldrin. The bald guy. Yeah, he's yeah. Buzz Aldrin. Uh huh. Oh, right, okay. There's. 
you know, loads of people whose character <laughs> no. names yeah, escape me. People. Yeah, those ones, yes. He's in it, definitely. Yeah, they're all in it. <laughs> yeah. If they're the cast, they're all going to be in it. Yeah, he was in it as well. In... Kieran Hines, yeah, he was a government man. Um, <laughs> so basically, it starts off with... I did read into this afterwards. Like, he does... He was doing a <laughs> rocket Jersey, jet yeah. test. So, it, who buzz all the government guys? No, um, Neil Armstrong. So he was done mm. test because it was when the air force was like going into testing like for astronauts, like the space race, trying to get the first man on the moon. Mm. Which spoiler alert for history, they did. Um, well, as far as we know, dun dun dun. <coughs> so yeah, it starts off with it. Neil doing a <laughs> uh, rocket jet test, and then he bounces off the atmosphere and has to like get back in, and they concerned because he's had so many mishaps and it's like can't send you up and right. he's like what are you gonna do you're gonna ground me and then they ground him <clears throat> uh, yeah but then what is what's weird is like this is really early on and then it switches to him with his daughter like his daughter's getting radiotherapy or chemotherapy she's getting one of them it's really sad because his daughter's Did got a brain he's got a brain i did at the end <laughs> his daughter's got a brain tumor but she's like really she's like two so she's like really, and then there's a shot that I really don't like in it where she's like the daughter's being sick and like you can hear it and like I oh know it's just active. It's like oh, it's really, no, <laughs> kids shouldn't be ill. That's quite sad. And but Ryan Gosling is really good. Like you really get the emotional thing from him, and you think that that daughter, like because the daughter thing's mainly at the beginning because unfortunately she dies before her birthday and there's a funeral which is a weird cut because they're <laughs> talking, no, they're talking about her and then they cut to the funeral. <laughs> <I think. laughs> Rude. That's even worse. They talk about it. <laughs> yeah, and then obviously, like, he's talk, thinking about... Um, he like, goes back to work and they're like, you can have time off. He's like, no, like... So he's working hard and then they have Project Gem... Because it takes place... It starts off in 61, I think, and obviously ends in 69. Mm-hmm. Space. 1969. Space. 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 London, 1965. London, 1965. <laughs> um... Yeah, so it takes place over that time, and then um, Project Gemini, where they were doing different tests with different Ooh. different groups of astronauts okay. to basically do. They did like the space walk, like sending I, a rocket up and having I, a man walk out in space. Yeah, I, I never knew they would have done so many different. Neither did I. There was like moon. Gemini eight or twelve. I think there was twelve of them because Neil Armstrong flew in Gemini eight. So basically, you know, like Apollo was the moon, the, main the moon one. mission. Apollo eleven yeah. went up. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 They had Project Gemini, which, or that was they called it, Jiminy. <laughs> Jiminy. Jiminy. Okay. And um, so Jim they would, each one would focus on a different thing. Like um, Neil's one was um, docking in space. So like a rocket got sent up, and then he, him, and his pilot got sent up, and they had the task of docking, right. which goes wrong. A they get bit. left there. Well, no, they dock, but then the whole thing oh, starts spinning. Seen that coming. <laughs> Well, no, if you knew history, you'd obviously see it coming. So it's very yeah, insightful yeah, yeah, yeah. in parts, but there's bits, <laughs> bits that sort of drag on. There's times when it's like, eh, don't focus on that, I want this, because I feel like they could have focused more on the whole Apollo mission from start to moon. Cause they, start and, to moon, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, plus yeah, with yeah. Gemini as well, because they talk like they gather them for Gemini, they do a G-force test, which um, Ryan Gosling, Neil Armstrong, gets in first, because obviously they're going to make him do it, and then he passes out. And then it's like, I don't know, I'll go again because he keeps having visions of his daughter. And then um, he does it and then there's a bit of a montage of that where they're being sick and then they're learning about the aerodynamics and then they, then suddenly you're on, like, Gemini 4 because there's, like, 12 different stages and then you're on Gemini 8 and right. in between What that, about 5, 6 and 7? Yeah, that's, the thing, right? that's the thing, it only shows select things. I'd have liked if they'd have shown, like, the whole the process. Whole group, yeah. but obviously where it's a focus story on Neil... Good old Neil. Good old old Neil. 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 Neil before. Neil before the might of Sutek. (laughs) (laughs) Where I tried to leave dust. Um, Sorry. Um, Yeah. Yeah, obviously Gosling really good. Claire Foy really good. So the chart of that. Sorry, Claire Foy is. (laughs) The Queen in the Crown. With Matt Smith. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not anymore, she's out of it now. Yeah. Yeah, now it's Olivia Coleman. Um, yeah, so there's that, and there's sort of like you get to meet his friends along the way that die, some die in the Gemini project, and then you get to one of his friends that then you get he lives to next door neighbours with who died in the Apollo 1 fire, uh, okay. which is like 
deep. Like, didn't Correct. know that happened because it was right. just a plug. It was I wouldn't know nothing. It was a plugs out test, like to check like the countdown and what everything. But then it was pure oxygen and a spark from a fuse, like lit the whole pure oxygen of the the rocket. The yeah, because like the thing was just pumped yeah. full of oxygen, so it literally just lit up and was like, poof, and they exploded. Oh, so it was it was historical, but like, and then you get to the moon mission, like when it's they do a really good job of recreating that, and I like they interject it with cuts of the news footage, the actual news footage from the time. Oh, which nice, is nice. Yeah, yeah. and the footage of them of him coming out I think is the original footage of him of Neil actually coming on the but the voice is Ryan Gosling yeah. so that's <laughs> yeah, one yeah. small step for man it's one giant leap for mankind but he's really he is really good at doing the the mannerisms and like he's very, very ne- he's very, very Neil Neil, Neil. strong and the, the thing with his daughter comes back spoilers if you haven't seen it it's it is good like he gets when he gets to the moon, like so they have to do the bit like cinematography wise, amazing. We get to the moon and his daughter had a bracelet like with her name on it, and it's like he puts it in a drawer like at the beginning of the movie like after the funeral and you think is that gonna come into play like to motivate him, mm. but then like he gets to the moon and like just before they go like he's got it in his hand and he just like leaves it on the moon, Aww. like and he's crying and I was like why did oh. he leave it. But so that he took her to so basically like as if not like, he'd taken her to the stars with him. Yeah, yeah, oh. I'll get the mate. Oh. So that was quite. That <laughs> was like when you get to that point. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> I didn't expect to be hit like that. Yeah, no, that's yeah. cool then. So like, and it just like sort of almost shows that all the sacrifice with the film, like his friends that had died, is, like lost his child, but he got there, and he became part of history. And it ends with him in because they had to come back and go in quarantine. Sequel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do they go back? Well, they could do like all the other Apollo missions, but. I don't know what... one, two. It could be whole franchise one, two, and three, and four. But yeah. Yeah, and um, because that's going quarantine in case they picked up moon diseases or something. I don't know. It was the sixties, and like it ends Paranoia. with paranoia. <laughs> like he's in the quarantine room. His wife's come to visit him. Like they're. Holding hand like over the glass and that, uh, and then yeah. it then it like, like ends. Prison. Yeah, then it like ends. Like that. Just because I wanted to see the, the effect of the moon off. That's the, like that's some of the things like I you wish they'd have focused on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I would. Yeah. Like how his life changed. Like even if you know, did you ever watch um, people well, no, the people versus OJ Simpson? No. Really good series, and like at the end of that, because obviously it's a true story. They, you know, like I want. Them film, them kinds of films and TV shows. They'll have like picture of like the actual person and like the yeah. text of like even that would have been good. Like Neil went on to do this, 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 and then died in because oh, died see, in twenty twelve. Yeah, yeah. like, even if they that had that, films, just yeah. to give you a bit of closure of like what he went on to do exactly. after the moon, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. the wife, the kids. Oh, that was it. Yeah. Like the fact, does. like either if they, they'd have elaborated on the film a bit, like how is like because he he has the press conference before. It's like. Like and he's like really serious about it because he was almost like a reluctant American hero. Like he mm. was just like he's just doing his job. He wasn't. Like, and they were like yeah. asking like, how will you feel to be part of history? And then it was like all stuff like that. But you don't see the effect of him actually becoming history. That yeah, yeah, historic no. icon. Oh. What the fuck are you doing, guys? Why did you not think of this shit? <laughs> and then there was a whole storm because they didn't show the scene of them planting the flag on the moon. But there's a shot of the flag already embedded because the director said he didn't want to focus on. It's not a story about America getting to the moon and planning yeah, a flight. It's a story it, about yeah. him. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, get that good film. I'd give it an. Right. I'd give it a solid eight out of. I'd give it an eight Ryan Goslings out of ten, ten right, uh, right. of ten moons. Oh, that's no moon. That's a special edition. So. So should we not delay this any longer? Bye. Oh, do you want to talk about Caroline quick? No. Oh, yeah. no. Okay. Okay. I don't know what to say. It's a thing. It's a thing. So ago. you want to you want to talk about one of your favourite films ever, oh, ever oh, of all time. Well, it's kind of like a house of a cook, and it's all in some ways. Even though Coraline's like, it's, it's live action. That... It's a live okay. action. It's a live action Coraline. There you go. I'm helping well, you. Well, not here. really. I'm helping. Kind you. of, but not really, because she doesn't go through a little door, and it's a boy and not a girl, and it's yeah. This is the new. This is the new Ruby segment. This yeah. is my favourite film. <laughs> Every week, we're going to talk about my favourite film. Movie clubs, we've resurrected Movie Club because Matt's not making it. <laughs> Ruby's now the host. <laughs> this week, we're talking about yeah, Coraline. You have, a, you have some yeah. stuff you want to say. You want to have a bit of a Coraline appreciation. Yeah, Coraline appreciation day. Go. Well, it's just because I was thinking about the house of a cook and its horse. It's just kind of the same. Same style. Same style, same like 
eerie feel to the film. We just watched it, so yeah, it's great. Best film ever. Yeah. You summarise the plot of Coraline. Oh no, we'll be here ages. No, just like, don't okay, so around. a girl moves to a new house. Yep. And she finds yeah. a little door, and her mum opens it, and there's bricks behind it. And then when she goes to bed, she wakes up. It's a parallel world. Yeah, and she goes, and she stupidly goes through it and um, gets caught in a trap of the other mother, and um, other mother. And then she doesn't, she couldn't leave, so she has to try and find the eyes of three ghost children, and she has to find her parents, and she does it with the help of a cat, which is great. And then she has to get back, and her parents know nothing about what happened, and they lock the door. And she's never allowed to out again. But she nearly gets, like, strangled to death by the mother. Because, like, her oh. hand... Because when she's closing the Actually, door, the, her hand breaks off and then her hand comes out and then... It's some drug translation. Whatever you think. Yeah. I don't even know what rating it is. I think it's a U. It sounds like a bloody 15. Strangulation and locking... No. And for a kiddie animated film, Jesus. Yeah, I know. Make it sound adult. And she feeds off, like, the souls of children. Oh, yeah, this is very kiddie friendly. <laughs> Everyone, come and see dead souls flying in the sky, getting eaten by a little though. girl. Parallel worlds, dead kids, what's not to love? You like it. In an animation. Yeah, it's fun. Thing. It's a really good stop motion thing. It's work very well done. Mm-hmm. It's enjoyable. It's enjoyable. Like, it's silly, but it's dark. It's very it Sounds silly. very dark. Very Burton esque. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot it's Burton, isn't it? I did it. Ah, uh, now I see it all coming together. Yeah. He did. We didn't direct it, did he? He just oh, yeah, made it. I've no clue. I died. You get it? <coughs> Burton's not dead. Oh god, no. I hope not. I well, think the whole universe it. might just kill us. Second victim. First Barry <laughs> Chuck. First Barry Chuck. Oh, now Tim Burton. <laughs> Hashtag save Tim. Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump. I can do a really good impression of Donald Trump. Go on then. No, I don't want to do it. You do yours yeah. and I'll do mine. Okay. Do you want me to do no. mine first? Or yeah. Do yeah. I don't want to do okay. mine. No. Okay. What's that? <laughs> no, I yeah. don't. Is that Neil Armstrong? <laughs> oh, no. Donald okay, first, first off, what I'd like to say to you is, okay, Neil Armstrong is a great, great American hero, great American, landed on the moon, and do from what I saw in Transformers, they discovered the Decepticons. So, you know, that's great. They stopped the war. They stopped the war. So I met Kim Jong-un, and he said, the Transformers aren't real. And I said, Kim, Kim, what are you talking about? You have absolutely tiny hands. Yeah, mine's not going to be as good now, is it? Well, go on, then. No, I can't. Go on, you can I don't say. Well, neither did he. He just fucking thought of it. You yeah, just, but you were, just, you, just got a, you just got a riff. You just... No. Come on, it runs in the family. Come on. No, I'm, it didn't run in the family. It. We're like... Well, that's yeah, what we're, we're, all, we're all well known job. for our Donald Trump impression. <laughs> we'll just stand on stage and just go... His, her father, his father before him. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. It's good. It's good. I, I it's like good. it. No. Should we talk to each other like Donald Trump? Should right. we do that? I have to... Stop laughing. I can't stop laughing. I can't stop. <laughs> it's very serious. We lesson. can't stop. No. No, we can't. No, that's right. We can't stop at all. At all. We cannot stop okay. building the wall. I can't. I can't do it when I laugh. You just got to do it when I'm not here. Yeah, basically. Can you leave the room? Okay. Bye-bye. My name is Janet J. A Trump. I love Korea. <laughs> 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 that's quite, that's really good. So you've come out with Matt Berry and Donald Trump. <laughs> come out the ghost. That's just a bit of man. <laughs> but now I feel pressure to come up with something. You gotta do something. Go on, you gotta do an impression. Impressions. I ain't doing. I ain't. I'm not. Do an impression of doing Donald Trump. I mean, <laughs> look at me. I, I, I didn't want to do Trump, but I, I kind of. Do someone. But now. Why I'm do you sound like butters? But now, but now I've left. You sound like butters from South. <laughs> I sound like something. You sound like a mix of. I don't know. Mix what of, do I sound like? You sound like a mix of Cartman from South Park. Ca- Cartman? <laughs> no, Cartman. Um, yes, you Cartman. You know. <laughs> it's all gone horrible. <laughs> It's all gone horrible. Oh, no, that was Just do funny voices. <laughs> See, I think I can only do men, though. That's a bit weird. That's men. weird, because normally you'd probably be like, good at impressions of women. Like, not to stereotype you, but... Men. Because you know. mm. I can't do impressions of women. Men! Oh, There's I, no women I would do impressions I of. Can so, I can sort there? of do Sarah Mill. Oh, I pet Sarah Millicent. I who? pissed myself in Tesco. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Who is this bitch? Sarah Millican. Never heard of her. Jabroni. Oh. People's jabroni. Jabroni. <laughs>
I can do Goofy, but it's not very good. You can do <laughs> Donald. Do Donald. Oh, please. <laughs> 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 the hard part is. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you having a stroke? <laughs> 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 hey there, kids! <laughs> 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 Wait, what? What? Oh, it's me, Mickey Mouse! <laughs> <laughs> this is a mess to follow if you're listening at home. Name's <laughs> Goofy. <laughs> hey there, Mickey. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts. Hello. Yeah. I don't know how to do the mouse. Plug. Plug. Oh, Ohana ha- means family. That's so good. Family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten. Yeah. Did you scream it? Potatoes. What the precious piece of this? Oh, Colin. <laughs> Mr. Precious piece of this. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Buttons is a precious piece of this. We need a job Charlotte, pass. Um, this is the impression bit until we get to <laughs> Any the. Any more impressions? Um, well, you know, I've got a bit. Of, it's sort of you know, like on the other side of the universe, and infinite, and Amy and Rory, and all that stuff. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, my name. Scooby Shack. Sweet. Scooby Dooby Doo! Really? Raggy Woo! What? Zoink Scoobs! <laughs> Is this our new big Scoob, thing? Fetch! It's, it's a snack! Raggy Woo! <laughs> See, guys, we found our new gimmick! It's become. This is like Big Finish. <laughs> this is how Big Finish works. It is, because they've probably got about 20 Phoenix, months. think alarm clocks. <laughs> they've all got their own separate room and they're all doing their lines and they all edit them together. Hey, the Peter Griffin special needs. <laughs> Wowish. Diarrhea. <laughs> hey there. Hey, Chris. You can take your shirt off if you want to. <laughs> oh. no, it's, it's, it's kind of... Oh, no, thanks. I can't do that. <laughs> what the fuck was that? No, 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 no. I just like the old deli style Cleveland. I don't really know what he says, <laughs> so I'm just going to have to improvise, everybody. Hey, hey come again. <laughs> hey, Peter. Hey. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Hey, Peter. Yeah, Joe? <laughs> Have you seen my wheelchair? Uh, no. <laughs> it's a couple of cars, man, anyway. Super Bowl! Oh. All right. Giggity, 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 go. It's all family. South Park, Don't. family guard, all the same. Oh, my God. They killed Kenny. <laughs> Kenny. Oh. Kenny. 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 Hey. Hey. They think I chief. Okay. Yeah, with, with I can't think of anyone. Uh, We've made a mess out of this. I, I, I can't think of any. Now I'm just Christopher uh, Walken. Uh, I'm uh, walking uh, through uh, the life uh, of uh, uh, the bees. Bees. You can do Barry Benson from the Bee Movie. Oh, I really want to be thinking able to do Barry Benson. Thinking Bee. Thinking Bee. Thinking Bee. We've literally just rambled on about random voices. This is my, this is what it's like in my head. <laughs> I mean, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, 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 and yellow. Yes, 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 take a bit longer, yes. <laughs> what? Yeah, come along. Come along, Chester Field, Chester Tudin, Chester Field, Chester Field, Chester Jamie, 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 Jelly baby. Would you like a jelly baby? Ah, mm. oh, that's where it all started. Mm. <laughs> well, you could have run from the Town Lords in a rackety old TARDIS. <laughs> Man, why, why, you... <laughs> why not? That's where it all started. He's quite breathy, Peter Davison. Hi, Drake. <laughs> Hedrick's I, dead. I'm naked. I'm sorry. I'm. You the, can open your eyes. I'm the doctor, whether you like it or not. Of course, the great Perry, before it was a good fairy, it was evil. <laughs> are we done? Where am I? Who am I? And who are you? <laughs> what? These shoes. They fit perfectly. They fit. Perfectly. What I did, I did without choice. I not in the in name, name of, of peace doctor. and sanity. But not in the name of the doctor. Rose, you're going to burn. <laughs> Well, you know, a sort of a wibbly wobbly timey wimey. More like a big ball of wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff. Alonzi. 
Alon- Alonzi, Alonzo. Um, yeah, so like at the end of the day, Clara, when I was many different people and voices and like faces and the Time Lords, it's, maybe it's the Time Lords because Gallifrey is my home, Clara. Clara, it's the hybrid. It's the hybrid. Hey, up, Sheffield Steel. I'm not, 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 Graham. <laughs> is this going to be fun? Come to me. It is going to be fun. Come to daddy, I mean, mummy. Come to daddy, I mean, come mommy. to mummy. <laughs> Speaking of that, it's time for the review you've all been waiting for. Of the Who Doctor. After ten minutes of just solid impressions. Mm-hmm. Shall we... That was painful. That was. Shall we review series 11, episode two? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. We shall. Doctor Who series eleven the episode Ghost two. Monument. The Ghost Monument. Ghost well, Monument. Yeah. It premiered on Sunday the, last week. Fourteenth. Um, Fourteenth. Sunday, the fourteenth of October, <laughs> two thousand and eighteen AD. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, basic plot of this one is that after being in space. The Doctor and Yaz get picked up by a female, a space taxi. A female I mean, contestant. I don't remember her name. Neither did I. Neither did I. Um, Yezop was the man one, who was, was played it? by Sean Dooley, I think, who picks up mm. Graham and Ryan, because, yeah, you know... Yeah, man and woman, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, the man, no, the man one picks up Mandy, Mandy <laughs> picks up Yaz, not Mandip, <laughs> picks up Yaz and the Doctor, the doctor because yeah. they're arguing, and then, mm. oh, my God, I was leaning on my fucking laptop. Shit. <laughs> I've got a really heavy foot, I might have broken it. Um Yeah, so yeah, man picks up female and female. Yeah, not and then the woman the woman one picks up Graham and Ryan and apparently it's a contest like a rat race sort of oh. thing across the universe, organised by I don't remember what his name is, but he's it's played hologram, by, at, played at by Epso, Art Miller. Holog- hologram. Epso man. is the man. Yeah, I knew that. And and straw strom. Uh, Armstrom. Armstrong. Arm, Armstrom is the woman. Mm-hmm. So they're two contestants in a big space race. They're the finalists at the rally the of the 12 galaxies. Yeah, because they're trying to win stuff and Armstrong wants to do it for her family and the other guy just wants to light a magic cigar. Yeah, but which actually ends up being done by Jodie. Yeah, no. well, spoilers. Spoiler, spoiler warning. Oh, yeah, spoiler warning if you haven't seen it. Yeah. Even though, like, this, Guys, this, pro- been doing? this probably comes out like four weeks after the actual episode airs. So. <laughs> it's going to be episode seven by then. Yeah, and then they go on planet desolation. And, and they land on the planet desolation. desolation and at then the edge there's of the a universe. race. Yeah, there's a race to find and the ghost monument. You can't go monument. out at night. Uh, you can't be outside at night. So because they stay there's downstairs. magic cloth and people that are robots. It's Aladdin. I can Aladdin. show you the, the world. Shining, shimmering. Copyright. <laughs> Da, 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 Netflix are just going to buy BBC One. No, I don't think they can. Da, da. One day. Okay. Oh, speaking of BBC and Netflix, um, that Dracula series with Stephen Moffat and Mark Gatiss is coming out on BBC One. Will be Netflix everywhere else about Dracula. Yeah, three parts, like Sherlock, of ninety minutes, three ninety-minute episodes. So I can't wait for the one where he jumps off a building and dies and comes back to life. Oh yeah, because that's. Watson, <laughs> the master solves the murders. <laughs> I don't know what accent they were meant to be. I thought we'd done the accent challenge, but anyway. Yeah, so they're the finalists on this thing because they across the galaxies, thousands and yeah. it's something generic, basically. Yeah, it's a. Race. It's a good plot. It's an interesting plot for Doctor because it's quite but small I scale. I got lost. I couldn't keep up with it. Basically, they're in a race and they. They're a race to, to get up. to the Ghost Monument, which Joe says, "What does the Ghost Monument actually look like?" And then this. <laughs> the yeah. What does it look like? Because the Ghost Monument, because so basically, <laughs> it's quite clever. Going yes. Cause, so at the end of episode one, no, because at the end of episode one, she tracks onto the TARDIS and they end up in space and they end up in space because that's where the planet was meant to be, but the planet got moved off of its orbit, which all the people yeah. say. Yeah. So that's why the TARDIS isn't there because the planet's mm. not there. So that's why they are in space. Cool, typical. And there's a go- and there's a ghost monument, and the title that which appears, is the TARDIS, which oh, oh. appears once every rotation. <laughs> yeah. Which what does it actually look like? And it's the TARDIS, and she goes, "That'll do." That'll do, donkey. <laughs> she does that. She does oh, that. Will really? do. And um, so then it's a race to the site of the ghost monument. To helping each other. The winner anyway. goes, escapes the planet and gets the money. The loser has to stay there and, and die. die. But Something Joe's generic. like, it's all right. Get in TARDIS, take your home. <laughs> no, but she looks at it and goes, ah, oh, like I've missed you. Like, my, my, be- tardis, my beautiful but... ghost monument. Yeah, she gets all emotional. You're about and it's really you're ugly inside. A, you're getting ahead of yourselves, guys. Come on. Bit of continuity here. It's, 
I don't know. Um, <laughs> so they're, tri- they're trekking the desert. Then yeah, Graham wears Audrey Hepburn glasses, yeah. which are yeah. great. And he keeps yeah. like taking off, putting them back on, and then you just see. Yeah, him you, just, you just turn around to like look at Bradley Walsh. He just got fucking women's glasses. And on. Ryan finally understands that everybody now knows his name. He, he doesn't, doesn't say, say it. Anymore. He doesn't actually say his name. Ryan Sinclair. <laughs> 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 He's realised that everyone now knows it. So we got that one clearly. Even the space planets know. I can't. I yeah. Ryan Sinclair. I kind of wish that that. We've heard about that. Was like, that was the art. Like that was the story arc. It's just the Brian Sinclair arc. Instead of Bird Wolf written on the title, it just says Ryan Sinclair. <laughs> I wonder who did that. Because he says his name so many times in the episode one. Ryan Sinclair. <laughs> Ryan Sinclair. Maybe they should have just do it for each companion. Like next week, he's like Yasmin Khan. <laughs> yeah. And it's Bra- Graham O'Brien. <laughs> She's like, no, I'm the doctor, I think. I'm not too sure about myself anymore. I'm, I'm a bit lost. self-conscious doctor. <laughs> I've lost my name. Yeah, she's a bit. She Jodie's a lot better in this one because she's not like schizophrenically written. No, but she's Chris not Chibnall, multiple doctors at once, is still sort of finding it, which is why I kind of want an episode without Chibbers. Which I'm sorry, I, you're still in bad luck. I feel yeah, because next week's written by partly him written by him and someone else. Yeah. Woman. yeah, that's what I want. New I want new writers just to get some new blood in the show instead of just like Chibnall gonna. If he, if he moffets himself if he moffets if he moffets himself this early on we're screwed yeah exactly but yeah, yeah I enjoyed it. it's not it's not a great episode it's you no very I sort of got a bit lost I was just like yeah they're racing and of course they're going to team up but I mean you know great generic plot I like the plot the fact it was different like a sort of space race almost like I'd wish yeah, we'd seen race. the actual race. Indeed, yeah. Oh, I imagine. The we should have followed the race. I mean, if the race was the series arc, like you start off on each planet, a bit like the chase. Do, do, oh, you could do, call do, it the chase. Do, 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 do. And they and they could go, Graham, don't you look a bit like that, that guy that owes oh, the chase? <laughs> no, 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 no. The chase is a story with William Hartnell in it. <laughs> Who's William Hartnell? <laughs> you used to look like him. Did I? I used to be man. And then Matt Berry just turns up. You used to be man. I yeah. wish he actually popped up. They need to like visit Lond- modern day London for a while. They need to visit Toast of London. Imagine that crossover. Oh over. no! Best of his year at Rada. The best King Leo this guy's ever it's seen. Very bloody person. Ran onto, dashed onto the screen, clutching his guts in a in a dire rear ad, and then before you know it, it's good night, nice. sweetheart. <laughs> No, I just want to watch Toast of London again. No, okay, then you do. But that would have been better, that would have been better than this. No, it was good. I like it. It's a bit boring in places. Yeah, it's not great. I found it. I enjoyed it a lot more than last oh, week. Oh, yeah, definitely. But yeah, because it was actual Tardis team and the theme, the theme tune. Very safe. I still think should be very different. short. Very short as well, isn't it? Yeah. But what? like you say, it should have been when they revealed it. Should have been the red. Red should have been the thing. Yeah, because like that red logo reveal, I thought. Oh, that's nice. good. Like, yeah, that yeah, end shot when it's the logo, I was like, oh, so that's the title card. Like, yeah, exactly. cool with yeah. that. Yeah, you yeah, just yeah. want to see how, like, you blend in with, like, the universe and flying through they it. Instead, they watched a bit too much of Esther McCoy and thought, right, we need a bit of purple. It's a bit of everything, yeah. There's purple from McCoy. There's the very 70s, stars. 70s vibe there's of, the like, stars. the shapes yeah. flowing. There's the, the stars, stars from, from the, the 80s. 80s. There's the Hartnell music. Yeah, which I get when you said it synthesized. Like, synth- 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 yeah, synthesized from, from the, the 60s. 60s. I can hear it. Yeah, I get it. It's from the sixties. Very Hartnell esque. But that's because it's a new beginning, Susan. It, yeah, please. Maybe that's a hint that Susan is going to be relevant. Please. Maybe she's the timeless child. Please, BBC. Come on. Oh, Make her. Better. I'd be I'd be cool if she came back in like the end of the ep- like end of the series. Like I don't want. And like, then lead it into special. Yeah. Christmas special. Like Susan just in the TARDIS, like. Oh. Because then it will make the Christmas special actually worth watching. Yeah. The, Daleks and Susan. Dalek in the Christmas Susan. special, that'd be cool. Susan yeah. is a Dalek. Susan's the Susan's become the master. She's a hybrid. She's a hybrid clown. <laughs> Fucking hybrid. She's a hybrid. I want to forget. I would trade series nine for like no, but season the fury from the deep. Season, season, series Susan, nine. season nine, season, Susan, Susan, Susan nine. nine. <laughs> no, is that Susan. like Blake seven? Ian <laughs> <laughs> eight. Ian eight. No, Susan's going to be evil, though, because of Big Finish. Is Susan in Big Finish? Yeah, I did bring yeah, this up. Have you dipped in and out? Um, you know, I haven't listened to it myself, but if Paul McGann shit happens, Susan's son dies. Oh. But because of the Doctor... Susan. Susan. Yeah, Susan gets mad at Susan. And then Susan's, Susan's dies. 
And Suzanne hates the doctor. Susan. Susan hits, hates the doctor. The doctor! I don't know, maybe she's allied with the Daleks. Please, BBC. Maybe this she's the right. Rani. The yeah. Rani's a man. No. Yeah. Is the future all female? We can only hope. Um. Yeah, a bit of the weird rag things that are magic. The only thing they is whisper. The only they, thing... they whisper like, what are the things called from uh, Web Planet? <laughs> Uh, the the, Zarvi, the, the Zarvi, yeah, yeah. the, the beam of the... Read that fucking... Ma- oh, wait, wrong monster. The timeless Im- child. Imagine if they are the Zarvi, like, the, they're the wings oh, of the Zarvi, like, reanimated. Like, what are you doing, you bastards? The only thing we're missing is the Cave of Wonders. Oh, yes. It felt very Aladdin. He literally felt like a Disney... Yeah, because it was the desert. Cinematography it very, was like, Disney. Like, like, Tatooine from Star Wars. Sorry, what? The, the sand no, planet from mind. Star Wars. Never yeah. Mind. Yeah, is that it? Yeah. You can go back to sleep now. <laughs> night, night. Good night. Yeah, no, I just thought Aladdin, as soon as I saw the fucking carpet, <laughs> come to life. I thought it was like, there was bits of... It just like formed Jasmine plo- Where it's Aladdin a bit ploddy. Like, I like mm. the sort of details of Yaz waiting for Ryan climbing the ladder. Oh. Because, oh, problem with now, ladders is his new thing, because he kept saying ladders. And also... Yeah. Ladders. Not... <laughs> Ryan ladders. Sinclair, ladders. This, it forms a story. <laughs> Ryan Sinclair, ladders, jump... Death. Ladders jump frightened. The thing Jeez. is, <laughs> when they went down the ladder, why didn't they shut the door? That oh, would have hatch. Yeah. They, and then there's that cut of the robots and the CCTV just standing on like, just straight, mm. just like. Have you watched it again? Because I haven't. No, I only watched no, it. No, I've once. only watched it once. I'm surprised you remembered because that was Sunday. Yeah. Lots happened. Yeah, well, it was all right. I can re- I can remember things as you know. My it's, memory is filled average. of all kinds of shade. It was average. <laughs> it was sort of like last year. So. Yeah. No, but as for the monument being the TARDIS, I felt a bit good. I thought, mm. I sort of, I liked it, the fact that it was in motive to the story, but I'd have liked it if it was a bit further down exactly. the line. Like, it, maybe... The, cool, if the, the TARDIS is alive and it's mentioned, but then it, maybe it would have been... It would like have disappeared. Like, two. it would have disappeared, and then they would have had to transport again or got picked up. That's what I sort of wanted a little arc. Right out of my mouth. Hitchhiker's right Guide Because we said we wanted sort of a little arc of, like, finding, like, the, the TARDIS, TARDIS hunt. Yeah. The chase for the TARDIS. The chase is on. Dun, 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 dun. For the TARDIS. <laughs> Start the cop. <laughs> dun, question, dun. question one. Question one. Where's the TARDIS? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> what no, does... like, I get it. Like, if it had been a couple of episodes down the line, because then we would have been like, oh, yeah, finally, finally. Like, I'm ready for the TARDIS. Because like, if, if you think about it, yeah, the story from... World Enough and Time to Ghost Monument is all the same story, like it's all concurrent because it's World Enough and Time, Doctor Falls, straight into ti- um, Twice Upon a Time, that, falling out the TARDIS yeah. as a woman onto a train and then looking and for the TARDIS. And not dying. Yes, <laughs> not even breaking her arm. Like she'd have at least broken how? her arm and then the regeneration energy would have how? fixed her. But maybe, you know when she's laying down on the sofa when the regeneration energy sort of fizzles, maybe she's fixing all the bruises because it's like adrenaline, maybe she can't feel it. Yeah, yeah. spelling... It's a bit of a like, I'm fixing Chibnall's potholes. I'm just oh, so used to fixing... Just cheese. Just cheese, grommet. Cheese, chibbers. Don't forget the crackers. Last one, chibbers. Um, wow, that was wow. <laughs> Amazing. No, it was all right. You're throwing, you're throwing your cards on the floor. <laughs> I don't want them. Um, no, please. Yeah, I'd have liked to have money. waited for the thing, because everyone like, no, oh, doing. the TARDIS, <laughs> finally, it's been so long. Like She gets really emotional, but like if you think about it... It's, it's not... only been an episode it's... or two. Yeah, it's been like two episodes since she fell out of the TARDIS. But for her, it might have been about A couple hours. of days. It might have been like, it's probably been about a week. Like Say, with the funeral, like, Where with Grace. Where's she been maybe, maybe about... she sleep? In, 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 in Capaldi's no, clothes. Say, not in the TARDIS. In the charity <laughs> shop. <laughs> in the charity shop, yeah. With, with a been a long time since the bar. Yeah. It's a long time since the bar. Who's your friend, gone. Ryan Sinclair? <laughs> He's like a sleeper agent. Maybe he is the master. Ryan Sinclair. I am definitely Ryan Sinclair. Ryan That'd Sinclair be cool. has left But then they reverse it. Ryan it Sinclair is, I am the master backwards. That would well, be... Ryan Sinclair is an anagram for... What, like you when, are um, not what like when Tremus was the um, yeah, well, Tremus was the body of um, the, uh, the king of Trakon or whatever he was exactly and the that's the master. master yeah Ryan Sinclair somehow You've Ryan Sinclair the master or well, master is here <laughs> you've been Ryan Sinclair but yeah um, um, yeah I like I li- Tardis is nice looks I don't, cool I don't like how the time rotor doesn't go all the way up to the ceiling. Feels I, very I didn't eighth, even notice that, but yeah. Feels very eighth doctor. Yeah, because the crystal 
is like the crystal. Like it's all, all about crystals. Crystal in the Sonic. Crystal in the Tardis. Yeah, but it don't look like a mac. Well, it, it still had the macro visual, but it didn't. Look it like looks purple. better. Doesn't it look better lit though? Mm, it looks very tenanty, which I think it needs to go back to though. Yeah, more whimsical and more organic. And more. More grown, because the Tardis is a grown machine. It's not. Mm. I like the cog works more on the experience. walls that are like leveled. Yeah. There's a bit of animation screen like in one of the walls. I don't. Do you know? What? I don't. The only thing you don't like. Don't yeah. like. What? You know when you go when she goes in the Tardis, and there's literally there's not just the door, but then there's the side ones as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cheesy. Because I was like, that's yeah. just that seems like an excuse for when you have it on set and you can't see the Tardis. It's like that's. Almost covering that. I see, yeah, 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 yeah. Because you have to walk through the TARDIS to get in the TARDIS. It's the only thing, because I'd, I'd have liked if. I like the effect, but I just don't like those walls being there. Like, if the walls had come up to it like normal, like, so it was like doors, and then, like, so the TARDIS, like, is on, doors are on the wall. Yeah, it, yeah, instead you, of having like, like little like a box little corridor, you've got, yeah, 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 it's almost like, yeah, so so the prop lines up because there's not actually anything in so it's actually saying like, there's not anything, anything in the prop, no, it's all no, no, no. it's all past the dimensions of the prop, which mm. is like, uh, I just didn't like because it makes it just seem so it's like that room with a little box on the end, I get what you mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. it'll grow on me. I just don't like, I want the thing to go all the way up, but or you even want it to be or, perfect, or even into the um arms. Maybe if like the arm crystals all come into the, uh, the yeah. central time rotor crystal, yeah, yeah. the fact that it's broken, it feels very classicy in that way. I'll, I'll look at it again and and analyse it, but I get. Will what, anything yeah. move? Because we kind of didn't see. We it. kind of moaned about the Capaldi Tardis not having any movement. No, because you know it was no, just because the central the, the central. Copy. They added that in, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. They added a time rotor in the end because so there was actual movement, so you could see it was in flight instead of just mm. the. Because I like the lights and the spinning, but like if there'd been the thing in the middle moving as well, it just makes the machine more alive. Yeah. Is, it, is the crystal just going to glow? Is it going to move? Like, Is it just going to dispense custard creams every second? Is it just going to... Yeah, imagine like not emptying the custard cream thing. Just Can you imagine if like, she just flicks those switches and just, like, it just keeps feeding her? <laughs> yeah, everywhere she stands, she's like... Ah. Fucking bourbons! <laughs> <laughs> it's just each one's a different... It's a selection box. <laughs> Family circle. <laughs> Family circle. Digestive. Full circle. Yeah. Full circle. But, but the shot of the, um, the sort of wide of the shot of like the console and that doesn't help that there's one arm. Like, yeah, I know for symmetry, there's, yeah. what, there's yeah. an arm in the line of the console. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah. I know it's for symmetry and it's meant to be all walls, but like with the other ones, like the tenant one, you'd have that wall cut out to mm, 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 mm. be able to see. Everyone. around it and then yeah, you'd yeah, film yeah. around that yeah because well, I get what you mean because well, well, whereas with the um, yeah. Smith Capaldi one like they had the hole in the roof because it was a 360 one so you could go in and then it was yeah. more real I feel like that's you know going to be awkward for filming because you've got them pillars right on top of you it feels very wide like it feels very wide wider than the Capaldi TARDIS yeah that was, as, much as, bigger, had, as much as it had levels yeah. it was actually like quite quite thin, small narrow and yeah. yeah whereas like now it literally feels like Feels like it goes on forever. It feels very cla- yeah. feels very classic-y. Because obviously, don't mm. go up to the thing, and then there's almost like the roundels on the walls. Probably bigger though. Mm. It's bigger than every TARDIS. Can oh yeah. Inside. The TARDIS bigger. is infinite. We don't know how big it is. Uh, how many rooms? Is a library. Is how many rooms? Is a library of swimming pools in the library. So coming, <laughs> wherever you like. I don't know. I really. We've got a first historical next week, or sort of pseudo historical. Um, yeah. Very. The Coast Monument was good. Yeah, exactly. I give it an I give it an eight, eight out of ten. Mm. I think it was better than last week, just purely because the fact that it's, I feel like we're gonna get more streamlined into. I think by episode either by next week's episode, or like two days times episode, or or episode four, we'll sort five. of we'll, 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 we'll get the tone because we'll have had the TARDIS team settled in. We'll have had like this is what it's like. This is where we are. This is what. This we're is doing. how it's gonna be. Deal with it. Break it down now. We'll give you look. You gotta give it a couple of episodes before you hate it. Well, as you can tell by my voice, I mean, you know. Well, you don't hate it, you're just frustrated that stuff's not back. No, it's not necessarily because I want the real monsters. I just, no, the feeling you just is to gone. Feel. But then you have to get the feeling back. Yeah, but that ain't happened yet. All the feels are coming. It's only two episodes in, Connor. What did you think I about the been... Stenza coming back? Like the stens are going to be the big bad? The no, gen- I really, that's what, I saw an article the other day, it pissed me off. I really hope they're not. 
Because next, if they get the mentioned, dentist planet. If, they, if they get mentioned, watch again, out! Someone's gonna steal your pillows. Your teeth. Do you reckon they floss? <laughs> Are they good at flossing? If if they if they, they get mentioned Tim again, Shaw. if they get mentioned again, once more, then I will have lost hope in them. And in the new monsters, because every monster's going to be, oh, look, this is a cool threat until Jody takes a piss off its name. And then, oh, look, remember the Sensor, remember the Teeth. Hmm. That's really, what he's going to yeah, be in I every episode. What are they going to meet? Do a doctor, the, a do doctor, a dentist, an opticianist. That's going to be the Christmas special the doctor, dentist, and the new doctor. And, the, and then the meddling monk and the celestial toy maker and. <laughs> the Rani. The and, Rani. And Omega. It's never Omega. Sontarans. Um, no. Sontar. Oh. Ah. We know you're desperate for Sontaran stories. It's. No, but since, to that, since that idea was in my head, you just it's ungone. It. It's ungone. <laughs> it's ungone. I don't know. It's, it's not, not reversible. It's, yeah, not it's not reversible. reversible. You can't reverse the polarity of that idea. Reverse the polarity of the Sontaran idea, Connor. Come on. You should reverse the polarity of the Sontaran strategy. Mm -hmm. reverse, reverse the Sontarans, turn him round, and then smack him on the back of the neck. And turn that bit sideways and stick it straight out your candy ass. If they want to change your boobs, my hair. Okay. So. Imagine a Sontaran with hair, sorry. Imagine, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Imagine Matt Smith's hair on like Strax. You just like get, It's not get funny, Strax. I'm the clever one. You're the potato one. You, oi! What are you laughing at? Silence, girl. <laughs> He's easily confused. Two genders is a bit more than he can count. Yeah, uh, eight out of ten for me. What are you giving it? I got, what was what Goes was I rated last week? Last week. Five. <laughs> Six. Oh, it was a, it was a, I think it was a six. I'd say a seven then. A seven. Better seven. Than seven. Ruby, you got you rated a nine last week. Did I? I said I rated eight. No, you rated nine. Oh, I'll just go nine again. Yeah. Can, you, can you get closer to the mic? Because you're not. You, you're getting late. A nine again. You're rating it a nine. Oh, there you go. There you go, that's better, see? Just keep getting, you just keep trying to like, go to sleep. A nine again. So you're rating it nine out of ten. Yes, I Next am. Next week we've got Rosa Parks. Who? Who? Oh my <laughs> god. You She's guys. A woman I don't Fine. remember school. I'll do my homework. Fine, I'll do She's right a now. woman who didn't stand up for a white man on a bus. Is mm -hmm. that it? Yep. And she got taken to prison. She got taken to prison. I don't know. I d we probably look. We might have learned about Rosa Parks at school, but I don't remember. Like, no, you would have. I know. I promise you, I never. You did. literally would have. I never did. Oh wow. Well, you would have learned about Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks an activist and civil rights movement, best known for her pivotal role in the Monte Monte Monte. She was, she was a Mondas. <laughs> Monte. It's a Monte Gravigimi. That one. Monte. Mont. Jerry Montgomery. <laughs> Montgomery, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mon Montgomery. Mon Mon Jerry. <laughs> Jeff Mon Jerry. The Mondasian <laughs> bus boycott. <laughs> Yeah, the United States Congress so called her first lady civil rights and the mother of the freedom movement. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. Cool story, bro. Look, so it's going to be a pseudo-historical that we haven't had on Doctor Who in a while. But what they can be doing there? Make sure that time runs... Yeah, but there's, there's a man with a ray gun Make in sure it. Make sure it goes... Oh! Wait, he's called you zombies now? No, gun. There's, there's, someone, there's a person with a like, space gun in the Rosa Parks trailer. And then this, right. Did you like how at the end of the thing there was a next time trailer for Rosa Parks and then there was the TV trailer when it finished? Yeah, I thought that was weird. Like, Maybe it's like they're trying to make sure that people watch in history goes Keep right. watching, guys. Guys, look, next week we're back. Yeah, guys. <laughs> guys, guys, next week. The Don't forget about no, them. Really, they're not in it. Imagine, Dogs, John. <laughs> yeah, please, please. The Daleks killed Rosa Parks, and now time is unraveling. That would be so cool. They have to like save like time from like, like, like the Daleks. I would like them to go to like go back in time, have something that was changed. Like you know when the monk, which well, the the monk, the yeah, cool the monk. What one? What yeah. one's he in? I forgot the name of it. What, the, the one with Stephen and yeah, Time Meddler, yeah, 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 the original. When like, the original, you imagine? When yeah. there's um, Ru um, yeah, there's um, watches lying around because he's like tried to change things. Like I'd like something like that. Like maybe uh -huh. they take out an important historical figure and then it's like race against time, basically. Yeah, maybe so, okay. Maybe one season, every episode, of every planet, every episode of Doctor visits. Maybe dies. <laughs> the monk and Daleks wipe out the historical. The monk figures. and Daleks and the Stenza. And the Rani the ripe out the side, ripe out the side. Ripe them out. <laughs> they stick them in a fruit bowl and ripen them. The Cybermen got wiped out from one world to another, and so did the Cybermen. <laughs> I'm looking forward to next week. I think it will be good. Yeah. Well, yeah. If I hadn't seen the other two, I'd be like, yes, wow, I'm looking forward to it. But I'm you're, like, yeah, you're a bit apprehensive I guess, now. I guess. It'll be all right. I'll, it'll it'll be all happens. right on the night. 
Stop. That's a TV show. Time. Isn't it? It'll be right, isn't it? Kicking my classic collection, boy. Because I'm. Cause I watched Unearthly Child the other night. <laughs> Why? Yeah. What did you think? Uh, this is what Doctor Who should have been. <laughs> yeah, I, no, I haven't watched it in a while. Ooh. I was like, yeah, let's watch this. And I was like, this is actually really. Like, episode one is like, it's really good television. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. The other, and the other three are like, what the fuck is this? Exactly. That's when, when he's going like that, trying to light the fire with the stick that over That was the other. basically episode one of. It started off amazing. Jerry Whitaker was great. The intro to the companions was great, and then as soon as she went, Tim Michelle, it was like, no. I'm sorry. I, no. I didn't like how Ryan was so, going back to, you know, just closing out on this we week. We have to. That Ryan was suddenly really rude to Graham, which I don't appreciate. Right, I thought they would get closer and have like a great well, bond, and then end up being like. Well, that's going to be their arc over the like, season. Isn't it? Is, yeah. let's Graham's bond. like on the verge of dying, and Ryan's like, "It'll be okay, no, Granddad." Yeah, it'll, it'll be something it'll like be, that. He'll call him. I love you, Granddad. Yeah, like that at the end, and then like Ryan mm. will explode or something. Oh, <laughs> like, so it'll like, be your grace. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. Like, mm. you know it's going to be that. And, but then they mentioned, like, oh, they're the people that killed my wife. It's like almost trying to hand fist in, like, emotional weight. But it's been one episode. It's mm. literally been a couple of days. Like, and y- oh, and Yaz going, I miss my family now, uh, even though I've only just gone, just please give, just, give Yaz something yeah, That's going to gonna be an episode. Don't make... Just don't, send her back don't, in an Amazon book. Don't, <laughs> uh, don't make... Can Ryan, you, you can get a Yaz on eBay. Don't make Ryan angsty teen, like, number four. Like, because yeah. he was really, like, the way don't he sort of handles... Don't let there be, like, their... stairs, and he's like, oh, my God, stairs. Stairs, me distracts you, can't climb stairs. I live in a bungalow. <laughs> bungalow or no, bungalow? But, like, <laughs> but like you, know, you know how, like, in the first one, like, there's mm. awkwardness, but it's not, like, spiteful, whereas he's just sort of like, I get that his nan's dead, but why is he being horrible to Graham? Like, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. out of character from what we've seen of him. It's like, just calm Chill down, out. dear. Yeah. Like, they're going to have a good arc, nah, nah, but, like, back. you really feel like Yaz is the fourth wheel. Yeah, which she's is the, just there. Which is that she's going to be the Adric. Yeah, she's actually going to have a one episode, one episode story, and then she's going to be killed off. Yeah. But I, li- I like. Or she the- might die in the one that she's in. I like Yaz's potential. <gasps> like, so no, I'm like, push her out can, the TARDIS. No, Ryan, open, you need to Ryan focus, opens the door and just kicks her out. You need to like, shift uh, focus because it's like you've no. had the episode about like Ryan and Graham, and then you've had another one with big Ryan and Graham feels, but it's the Doctor being unsure of herself. Yeah. Now, what is this? What is this one going to be about? God Yaz God. bonding with Rosa because it's women power. Yeah. And then the Doctor accepting that she's a woman and going to be, holy cow, I'm actually a different person. And finally address the realistic plot element of, wait, I've been a man for 55,000 years I like and how, suddenly changing but I like, Yeah, but I like how sort of that will grow, that will come into it more, but it's not a main focus because it shouldn't be because it's just no, the well, Doctor. Well, yeah. Because it's just the Doctor. Yet. Until yeah, the yeah. Daleks bring it up or whatever big bad's going to Can we like, speak you to your husband, woman. please? <laughs> Is I your mean, husband no, don't, in? Yeah, don't you mean wife? Sorry, my second wife. Yes. Yeah, give you give your stuff to do. Don't make Ryan angsty teen. Write the doctor. Address the doctor write as the a do- female and sort of give me a pseudo reason as to why. Kind of. I don't think you need a reason why. Line. Tell me well. Some I don't think you're gonna. I think if you want a big explanation of why she's a woman, you're not gonna get it this series. I don't I think know. you are. Oh no, I'm not, and that's exactly why I'm. <laughs> But, but you don't need it because it, it's I, it, I, this. I, no, what you mean, yeah, but what I'm thinking is like from the perspective of you're trying the to make movies. like with series five, you're trying to prove it's the same mm. show, and so you're just back to basics, like same thing. Like they'll they'll probably address it more in, in the series, Christmas, special. Christmas special in series twelve, maybe. But like yeah, I don't I think know, I know, I know, and that's the thing I can't accept. Well, you're gonna have to learn to accept it, just like we've got to learn to accept this episode's finished. Wow. Well, 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 well. Yeah, well, wow, that is an, um, an hour, an hour yeah. less than last week. Um, oh. Jesus. Yeah, so we were angry that's, that's done. Oh, your anger, Anakin. Good. So whenever this comes out, please yeah. watch it. Yeah, three months. Yeah. So what we're going to do... Happy is, New Year. Yeah. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Happy New Year. Um, guys, it's actually threes out, guys. <laughs> uh, leave, leave your Christmas presents in the comments, guys, you know. We'll buy, the, buying, we'll buy them. Yeah, we'll buy them somehow. Yeah, but do you know what they should do? Yeah. Like, don't. comment, subscribe. Yeah. And share it with your friends. Share it with your friends. Like on, like us on the socials. Mm-hmm. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. You name it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll copy and paste them into every episode like I do, and then the episode will be uploaded without a description, so I have to do it again. So it's just the cycle of life. So, yeah, if you're new here. If you're new subscribe. here. Subscribe. Subscribe, please. Views. We Comment down back. below or guys, email what us. What happened, we have an guys? email. Yeah. Email yeah. us. Yeah, really, you're do more that. professional than me. Yeah. Email us. Like. 
No questions into no bubble contact at gmail.com at pasty sheep on the socials. I've been George. You've Ruby. Been, you've been Ruby. Rosa. Uh, Connor. <laughs> you've been Connor. That's episode 15. Four months next week. Well, not for me, but okay. Oh, no. Adios. Yeah, adios. You've just two weeks for you. Yeah. You're still on probation. <laughs> <laughs> See you next week. Allons-y. Allons-y, allons Always wanted to say that.